Hello and welcome to the solution con tutorials. Today we'll see something amazing, something crazy for web developer. Okay, so let's start. This is animate.css. This is freely available on uh, on its official site like you can search it on google and you will get it uh, and by the way we i am also providing download link in the description so this file has amazing effects like you can see here this is nice okay so let's try and see how to use it in our project in our website first of all download this by clicking on this button download then just copy and paste that animate.css file into your project directory like this is my project so let's apply those effects in this project first of all open this file with notepad then we need to link that css file in our project for that for that i'm writing this code style shit then reference of that style sheet that is nothing but animate.css then just close it okay so linking has been done now let's apply some effects in in this logo part let's see which bounce up bounce in let's apply this effect in our logo so logo where is logo okay this is our logo now i am going to apply that effect to this this thing there are three things basically you must know before using animate dot style sheet you can write three classes first is type of animation means the name of animation you are using like bounce in then second is its time means infinite or finite if you want the animation should play infinitely then you can write infinite and the third thing is animated you must write animated class okay now just see what i'm going to do for this header first of all i will write animated then the effect which i want that is nothing but bounce in then i want it for infinite so i will write infinite then just refresh the page now you can see the effect has been applied successfully but the infinite is not good so just delete it and refresh so it will be it is looking cool now so suppose i want to apply this effect to this logo only then you can do one thing just copy this class and write it in image just delete this because we don't want it as a header and the header is above then refresh i think it is done 
now let's apply some of the effect to the list like it should be coming out from left side okay the bounce in left let's apply for this column animated bounce in left okay, let's see you can see the menu is coming from right side not right left side which is looking cool now for this this should be coming from right side so just copy this thing and go for where is that thing what 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 okay this so just paste it here and just write write and refresh the page now this is looking cool now it's time for this city the main content of our website which is nothing but this let's see which effect is there for that flip this is amazing effect so let's just write flip and then refresh Oh my god. Okay now you can see the site which is looking cool. I just did some thing crazy to it. That's why the animation is like this. So there are two things remaining. Uh, first is what if I want to play some animation for particular time and I want to handle its time i mean its duration so that is also possible in animate.css suppose i want to make this animation the entire animation little bit slowly and it should be played like twice so there is possible just write style in that particular tag where you want to uh, manage the animation and just write animation duration and give it at some time like 4 seconds and for iteration write animation hyphen iteration hyphen count and just i want it to be played twice so i will write write two and just save this and play the refresh the page then you can see the changes has been take place so thank you for watching please like comment subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials